secret. <laughs> You've got to help me, Dr. Viscous. It's our son's eating habits. You said you were cannibals, right? Yes, that's why this vegetarianism thing scares me. No need to worry. For one thing, vegetarians are probably much better for him. I like to stalk one myself from time to time. <laughs> My advice is to let him fiend himself. The little nipper will never learn to maggot on his own if you're too busy protecting him. Our next caller, Leo, thinks his wife is cheating on him. Let's hope for her sake he doesn't catch her in the hacked. I call this sickening psychodrama as ye so. Here she is, exiting the produce market. I got eyes for Christ's sake. How'd you guy know she didn't go out in the back for a quickie? I had a man in back and another one inside the store. Three guys, that's it. Three is all the FBI would use. Here she stops briefly at the butcher's. And her daily 10 o'clock visit to St. Xavier's. I paid you guys 30 grand for this shit. Home movies of my wife going in and out of stores and church. I told you when we undertook this job that it would be expensive. That we might come up with nothing. Particularly if your wife is up to nothing. Face it, Mr. Burns. Your wife is a regular choir girl. Just because you couldn't catch her at it doesn't mean she isn't doing it. I know she's up to some shit. I can feel it on the skin every time I touch her. I can see it in her eyes when she looks at me. She's tearing me apart for Christ's sake. You think I'm some kind of asshole, don't you? Look, Mr. Burns. When a guy marries a woman, what, 20, 25 years younger than he is? 24. 24. A pretty woman, it can get to him, uh, you know, emotionally. It can affect his judgment. What? You're telling me I need a shrink? Hmm? A marriage counselor might be a good investment for starters. Um, encounter group, a health farm, spa. <laughs> Look, I don't need your new age bullshit. And I don't want any more of your half-assed surveillance, either. I'm gonna find somebody else who knows what the hell they're doing. Fine. You look under enough rocks, you'll come up with some sheet smeller who'll be happy to take your money. In your ear, pal. Your wife's very lovely. A catch for any man, married or not. I can only sympathize with your problem. I would, of course, give your case the highest priority. Mm -hmm. You know, those other guys were supposed to be the best in town. How do I know you're any good? You wouldn't go to an optometrist to get your kidney stones removed, would you? What kidney stones? I'm making a point. You went to a man whose expertise is in insurance fraud, embezzling, that sort of thing. And for this, Chapman is very good. I'd go to him. But infidelity is another kettle of fish. He was insensitive to your suspicions, correct? Made me feel like a fucking asshole. Then they were the assholes. In my substantial experience, a man or woman's suspicions about their other half are invariably correct. Things betray. A mouth that hesitates to answer a question. A shoulder that cringes to the touch. Eyes that have to look away. Things that he might not even be able to put into words, but nevertheless are a smoke signal that something is going on. And where there's smoke, there's fucking fire. Exactly.
Mr. Byrne, when did you first suspect your wife was having an affair? A couple of months ago. You know, when she... when she stopped... Stopped having conjugal relations with you. Oh, Christ. It's not like it's something you can talk about. Tell me, Mr. Byrne. Does your wife wear easy access clothing? What? Does she wear full or pleated skirts? Stretch pants that just slip over the hips? Does she prefer garter belts to pantyhose? I don't know. You're in the dry cleaning business and you don't notice your wife's clothing. I know about clothing. I don't know about that. What are you trying to tell me? All I'm saying is you ought to think about these things. Mr. Byrne, I don't know yet if your wife is having an affair or not. But we do have a saying in this business. If you're not getting it, someone else is. Shall we get to work? What are you doing? What's this? It's lingerie. I know that. I mean, what is this, this here, eh? What do you think it is? Hmm? Well, I want you to tell me that. It's for going to the loom. Is there anything else you want to know about me under things? Look. Oh. Really? It's for that? Hmm? What a silly question. What else would it be for, eh? Well, uh... Leo, look at this mess. Darling, you know, since, since we're both home, hmm? Not hmm? now, Leo. Well, it's been such a long time. Hmm? You know the time is a week away when you can do your dirty business. Uh, but I, I don't want to wait a week. I want it now. Leo. Now. No, Leo. Come on. No. no. Come on. Leo, no. No. It's only been a week. You got something for me already? For a professional, a week's enough. This is the same shit as the other guy got. Is it? Take a look at the last two again. Carefully. So, so what's this? So she's happier coming out than when she went in. Big deal. I mean, she's been spiritually uplifted. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry, Mr. Byrne, but... What young woman in this day and age goes to mass every day? But she's from Ireland. They all do that over there. Do you know that they do that? Or does she just say that they do that? I'm not sure. So, right, so who's this? Who do you think? It's him. She's banging a priest, for Christ's sake. Are you out of your mind? Am I? His name is Father John Sajak. He's a radical. He was fired from his last position for disobeying the Pope's encyclical on contraception. Now take another look at that picture of your wife leaving the church.
believe it. Check it out for yourself. Talk to the man. You'll be able to tell. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yeah, where's Father Sajak? He's up in the choir loft. Thanks. Struggling with a sermon, I find that playing a little music helps smooth the way. Can I help you? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I just moved into the neighborhood, and I thought I'd check out your parish for my wife and me and the kids. Ah, family man. That's nice to hear that. Mr. Leo. Leone. I'm John Sajak. Father? Why is it nice to hear that? Well, we have a lot of overstressed young professionals here in the flock, and unstable relationships and all the issues that are connected to that are part of the inevitability I have to deal with. It's it's just a nice roll, roll that back a minute. What issues? Well, premarital sex, marital infidelity, contraception, abortion, divorce, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, when I grew up, that kind of shit, that stuff, was immoral, pure and simple. It's not in your book? Well, Mr. Leone, it's my opinion that the church has to acknowledge contemporary values and problems or else it ceases to be of any value to the people. Now, it's my goal to reestablish the Catholic Church as a living, potent organ, throbbing with vitality, bursting with life. Now, I want to embrace the people as they are, with all their contemporary problems, take them in my arms and hold them, and say, hey, it's okay to be you. Now, you'll excuse me, I have to uh, hear a confession. Excuse me, Father, what do you call that you're wearing? That, that, that... This is a cassock. Why do you wear that instead of a suit? Well, it's more comfortable. Uh, not to mention the fact that sometimes it comes in handy. Excuse me. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was a week ago, and since then I've had impure thoughts. And what were those thoughts? That I am a wicked whore, worthless in God's eyes. Okay. It's okay to be you. The man of a sweet, the blood of a blood, the man of a sweet. Holy Mary, God of a Now it's the hour of death. Jesus, my son. Father. I got your living potent organ, you son of a bitch.
Face the facts, Mrs. Byrne. Your worst suspicions are true. But I don't want it to be over between Bridget and me. I still love her. I'm not a marriage counselor, but offhand, I'd say it's already over between you. Under the present circumstances, that is. Maybe it's time to see a lawyer. No, 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 no lawyer. I could still get it back. It's just that fucking priest. Why did you come back here? What do you want, really? What do you mean? Why don't you just say it? You want the priest dead. Yeah. That's right, I want the priest dead. I want the son of a bitch shot in his dick, then in his ear. And I want Bridget to be there when it happens. That's a tall order, Mr. Byrne. Forget it. But not too tall. If you have the money. How much? A fraction of what the divorce would cost. $50,000 for the people. You got it. And another 50 for me, all in advance, and to be left in a place of my choosing. In advance? What, do I look like a moron or something? I'll overlook the implications of that, Mr. Byrne, because you have been under a great deal of stress. Forget I mentioned it. Forgotten. Once you leave here tonight, I never want to see you or hear from you again. Just go about your business as conspicuously as possible. Go places, see people, make a lot of noise. Forget all about this. Yeah. But when will it happen? Maybe a week, maybe a month. But it will be handled. The less you know, the better. Now, what do you say? In his ear. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Sorry, Bridge. Leo, I, I feel like you're angry at me, and I really don't know why. It's nothing. It's nothing, no. Leo, I'm really tired.
Bridget. Bridget! I can't take this! <clears throat> Father, are you there? Father? Yes, one moment, please. Just one moment. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. My last confession was a week ago. So, what are your sins? If you have to seek absolution, you have to tell me your sins. I've been a bad... No, no, I've been a terrible wife. A liar who has caused my husband too much suffering. What did you lie about? My reasons why I don't perform the duties of a wife more often. Why didn't you do that? I've wanted to tell him father so many times, but I was afraid he wouldn't understand. You see, my mother died giving birth, and I'm so afraid it would happen to me if ever I got pregnant. I just... Wait. Wait, wait a minute. Is that it? Yes. I'm truly penitent in my heart, and I'm ready to make an act of contrition if only you can grant me absolution. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Leo? Oh, Bridge. Is that, is that you? It's me, Bridge. Bridge, come on, get out of there. Come on. Oh, Leo. Leo. It what were you doing in it there? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's all right, baby. All is forgiven. It's all right. Let go of her, Father. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, this isn't what it looks like. See, look, look I'm, I'm, I'm no priest. I'm the guy who hired you. And I don't need you anymore. You're... In your ear, father.
the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, do not bring your servant to trial, for no man becomes holy in your sight unless you grant him forgiveness of all his sins. Talk about a pain in the apps. That's love for you. Eerie today, gaunt tomorrow. <laughs> As for me, kiddies, my shift's up. It's the top of the hour. Time for your favorite morning man. <laughs> What's the matter? You've never seen a shock jock before?